laying the second course of blocks. This section describes the techniques of laying the second course of blocks. As you work, always be aware of the location of any doors or windows. Here are the highlights. Interlocks, setting the blocks, filler blocks and interlocks, and placement of rebar. You will notice the Advantage Wall System's ICF blocks feature interlocks, the ridge and the tabs on the top and matching indentations on the bottom of each EPS panel. The interlocks are designed to help hold the blocks together when they are stacked on top of one another. Start the second course of block at the same corner you started the first course. Place an opposite hand corner block on the one below. For example, if you used a right hand corner on the first course, use a left hand corner on the second course. Glue the two corner blocks together with a light bead of low expansion foam. Continue the course with full standard blocks. Remember to fasten the blocks to the corner blocks with multi straps. You should notice that the blocks have a 16 inch offset from course to course. Sometimes it is necessary to strike the top of the block with the palm of your hand to set the interlock on the block below. It is important for the alignment of your wall to ensure that the blocks are fully interlocked. Check for obstructions if the interlocks do not appear to fall into place properly. When you set the blocks, always work from the open end towards the block previously placed. The purpose of this technique is to keep the joints tight. In a course that requires a filler block, we recommend you try to maintain the 16 inch offset in order to keep the interlocks aligned. If you do not maintain the 16 inch offset, then you may need to cut some of the interlocks off the blocks in the first course directly underneath where the filler block will be placed in order to set the filler block properly. Once the second course of block is in place, install the horizontal rebar two rebar clips over from the rebar in the course below. This we're going to take our pre-bent 90 degree rebar corner and our corner below is set into the third rebar clip. Here we're going to put it back in the first rebar clip. We make a natural stagger for when we drop our vertical steel in, it staggers in between the third course and the first course of rebar clips. So the vertical steel will ride up right between these two. It'll all be to the inside face of the wall and it'll be trapped between the alternating rebar courses all the way up the wall. A pattern of block placement will emerge after the first two courses have been placed. Odd and even courses will each have the same block pattern. In other words, courses 1, 3, and 5 will be the same as each other, and courses 2, 4, and 6 will be also the same as each other. Filler blocks should remain the same length on alternating courses. If you find the length of your filler blocks are not consistent with those of previous courses, check your corners are plumb and that the overall length of the walls in question is the same at different heights. Continue to lay courses until you reach the location of a wall opening, typically a window or a door. How to deal with openings is described in detail in the next section of this video. Once three courses have been set, check the kickers for alignment. If kickers along the walls were not set, use low expansion foam to glue the advantage wall to the footing on two foot centers.